As the holiday season kicks off today, you may be ready to send messages to friends and family members around the world. But there's one place locally where your message can be dropped off and read out loud in front of others. News Channel's John Palminteri tells us this is part of a project that's making a comeback at an important time. This is the Story Catcher mailbox, and um, it was inspired by the Thomas Fire and the Montecito mudslides in 2018. It's back out. About five years ago, our community found an outlet for the traumatic Montecito mud flow and Thomas Fire impacts that took lives and property with this piece of art. Story Catcher was set up on State Street near the Granada Theater at that time for personal letters of grief and gratitude. After four years in storage, it's now back in the 600 block near State and Coda Street. And again, it has a purpose. You know, we had just been through the pandemic and that entire time, I think people were really wanting to find a way to express themselves. A lot of people had gone through traumatic times and, um, and I knew it could be a service to some people. The giant mailbox is seven and a half feet tall with plenty of room for your handwritten messages and expressions of emotion. And I think it's a really fantastic way for the people who see it and understand it to express themselves and kind of let those let those emotions in, let those emotions out. So I'm, I'm really excited for it to come back. What was once an art piece now connects on four levels. People connect with themselves when they write down their stories in a letter, then drop it in the mailbox then come to a reading where they can hear their letter. And in that space, they hear other people's stories as well. There's nothing like it. If you sit on your computer or you write you know, a text message to somebody, I don't believe that you have the same access to what's most important for your healing. The mailbox is open 24 seven and whatever hour of whatever day when you have your letter on either side, there's an opening like this where you can drop it off. We were given a look inside before next Tuesday's readings here. We open the mailbox. From napkin notes to personal cards, the messages are coming in. So some of the letters are, as you, as you can see, really well thought out and special. Yeah. Um, and you know, some of them put their names and some are anonymous. And we also had an insight into one of the letters that will be read. But I talked to you and scold myself in my studio for the things that I need to move through, and I will. You give me many friends, and I will keep them and nurture them. The current location is on the outside patio at Wild Works. It's a long-standing piece. Um, really, really proud of it, really excited for the community to get to experience it again. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. Residents up and down the coast are kickstarting their holiday shopping.